the pace and the tempo in Kenyan politics has changed. If you're following the local Kenyan media, you will hear people saying very frequently, especially over the last week or so, that political temperatures are very high. Some will even say at an all-time high. Close observers will have noticed that the deputy president is much more agitated in the speeches he has been giving in recent days. And on the other side of the political divide, Tim Kileweke have stepped up tremendously their pressure on the deputy president. Pressure on him to leave the Jubilee party. Pressure on him to resign. Supporters of Tim Kileweke are very excited. They are happy. Why? Because, for the first time, it is very clear that Tim Kileweke are organized. They have an organized response to everything the deputy president is throwing at them. Yeah, unlike the situation before. Apart from Tim Kileweke having their propaganda machine up and running, yeah, to meet that of the deputy president, it should be clear to keen observers that Tim Kileweke have a very organized onslaught political attack against the deputy president that is building up very fast. This politician says that against the deputy president and then another statement is quickly followed by another different politician and another one and another one. I'm sure you've noticed this pattern and this pattern tells us very clearly that what we have here is that there's an end game. I mean you can't organize something to build up, yeah, and in your mind you believe it is building up to nothing. No, it is definitely building up to something. And the burning question has to be, what is it building up to? Yeah, what is the end game here? Now, we know that the political class are all preparing for the 2022 general elections, yeah, barely 11 months away. And we also know yeah, that facing those general elections, yeah, say July 2022, facing those general elections the way we are is going to be very messy. Sample the following. In July or June 22, just with the general elections around the corner, we will have the same situation as we have today, whereby you have the Jubilee Party in a pact with the ODM Party, in a close partnership, yeah, ready to face those elections. And then within Jubilee, you have a deputy president who is firmly against that arrangement. And at the same time, that deputy president has his own party, UDA, which he is aggressively promoting. Now, just think about it for a moment. How will that work? <laughs> it's going to be an impossible situation. And therefore, it makes perfect sense for the Jubilee Party to ensure that their party approaches the 2022 general elections. Yeah as a united party, all reading from the same script. And that can only happen with the deputy president out of the Jubilee party. But the deputy president is not budging. Yeah, he's not moving an inch. In my opinion, the deputy president is going to leave Jubilee, but he's going to leave Jubilee at his own time. And I believe that time, according to him, will be very close to the general elections. And there's a problem here, because the Jubilee party proper, <laughs> gosh, the Jubilee party team Kileweke will not allow the deputy president to leave when he feels like. They want him out yesterday.
And so, what I'm trying to say is that it would make perfect sense that the Jubilee Party proper wants to push out the Deputy President as soon as possible so that they can get their house in order. But there's another more pressing reason why the Jubilee Party proper needs to kick out the Deputy President from the Jubilee Party. Yeah, and it should be obvious. On Sunday, when the Deputy President was returning to Nairobi from Nyeri, yeah, he said that the UDA Party has already 150 MPs yeah, on its side, yeah, even before they face the general elections. Now, I don't know if that is accurate, but let us assume it is true. Yeah. Now, those 150 MPs are in which party? They're in Jubilee. So it means that as the party plots its way forward, yeah, organizes itself, in readiness for the general elections, they'll have within them people who are not totally with them. Yeah, imagine a situation where a country is about to go to war and it has soldiers yeah, within that country who are actually loyal or seem to be loyal to the country they are about to go to war with. In our case, of course, we are talking about a political war. But we all know that political wars can be quite vicious. And so, how does that work? It can't work. And so, with all that information, we can safely conclude that the end game of Team Keleweke is to get the deputy president to resign, yeah, or to get the deputy president out of the Jubilee Party ASAP. And on the other side of the political divide, it is in the best interest of the deputy president and his campaign for the 2022 presidency to ensure that yes, he's leaving. I'm trying to think the way he's thinking, the way I believe he's thinking. It is in his best interest to make that divorce as messy as possible so as to gain as much political capital as possible from it. I am certain you'll agree with me if you've been listening to the Deputy President recently, in the past few days. How what will use a chama call him ganga? He says in a very emotional voice. Si nyinyi muliniona. Nikitafuta kura kwa niaba ya Raisi Uru Kinyata. Wale wanapiga kelele sasa Walikuwa wapi? Muluona? Uliona tuju? Uliona murade? The deputy president says, very worked up, yeah, as he speaks these words. I don't think it is too difficult to read between the lines yeah, and understand where the deputy president is going with this. A messy divorce yeah, where he can maximize on political capital yeah, which he'll use to win the presidency in 2022. This is the thinking of the deputy president's camp. Now on Monday this week, the Jubilee Party Management Committee had a meeting. And in that meeting, they passed a resolution that the Secretary General is to write to the Registrar of Parties yeah, before next week, requesting that the name of the deputy president be struck off the list of members of the Jubilee Party. Why? Because he's openly campaigning for another party other than the Jubilee Party. Now, let us understand this. If the deputy president is removed as a member from the Jubilee Party, he can no longer be the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. That means he won't have the current residency he had to use for his campaigns. He had to receive delegation after delegation, to have meeting after meeting. And these meetings are hitting out at the very party he belongs to. It means 
he can no longer have the security provided by the state yeah, of all those trained officers, well over 250. And most important, yeah, this is very important to take note of, it means that the Jubilee Party proper can take action yeah, on legislators, politicians who associate with William Ruto and are in Jubilee. Ay, 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 ay. Let me elaborate on that further. It means that people like Ndindi Njoro, Honorable, Mweshimiwa Ichungwa, Na Mweshimiwa Oscar Sudi, and so on and so forth, you know the very long list, those politicians can no longer accompany the deputy president to a UDA function, not without consequences. Yeah, because the law is very clear. You cannot be in one political party and you're promoting another political party. That cannot happen anywhere in the world, not just in Kenya. In other words, the deputy president leaving the Jubilee party yeah, will lead to another even more dangerous situation. Simply because all these legislators who normally accompany him yeah, will have to decide what they want to do. And one of the options they have available to them, which they have threatened Tim Keleweke with several times, is mass resignations of legislators. Now that is no small matter, because it has many far-reaching legal consequences. For instance, if 150 MPs resign today, that does not mean 150 by elections. It means a general election, or at the very least, what we can call a little general election. Now here's the complication. There is no single politician on either side of the political divide who wants that. Because they're all preparing for the general elections. In a few months' time, 11 months is a very short time, they need to raise finances yeah, in these very difficult times. No one wants to go into all that trouble, reestablish contact with their people on the ground, in the constituencies, organize everything, raise finances, etc., etc., and then sit in parliament for only seven, eight months, and then do it again. Aye! And don't be fooled. People in Jubilee who actually belong to the UDA may half and puff and say all kinds of things, but deep in their hearts, that is an option they don't want to think about. And then there's the issue of the pandemic and the protocols that go with it. Is it viable to have that kind of election right now? And we know how campaigns are carried out in Kenya. Is that even viable? And then the IEBC, yeah, the electoral body, has to raise funds to carry out those elections in 150 constituencies or in all constituencies. And I believe we all know our money situation as a country at the moment. What? There is really a serious problem here. Catch-22, in fact, more than Catch-22. The deputy president has to go for the Jubilee Party to reorganize itself. But how will that happen with all the possible consequences of the deputy president leaving Jubilee? And yet there's no way the Jubilee Party can face the 2022 general elections yeah, and still have the deputy president resign when he wants yeah, or when he sees it fit to make that move after he has organized his UDA properly. That would not be acceptable 
to the jubilee party kwa hivyo tufanye nini ai 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 major headache and that is why at the press briefing after this jubilee management committee meeting on monday the secretary general rafael tuju said that he wanted to convince his colleagues to abandon this idea of the deputy president resigning he said we know the man he cannot resign don't waste your breath don't waste your time let us focus on the 2022 general elections that's what he said he spoke as a politician yeah but we know at least we now know that the deputy president leaving the jubilee party <laughs> is a very complex issue very complicated ni tricky tricky sana bottom line yes the jubilee party wants ruto out as soon as possible but what is the end game yeah really what is the end game ni tricky tricky sana and then to make matters worse there are so many other things happening political things all over the place Jimmy Wanjigi now you may not agree with me but that is a presidential candidate nobody can afford to ignore and then there's the issue yeah, of the GSU officers who were withdrawn yeah from the security of the deputy president which led Kenyans to discover some very disturbing yeah issues like people's private businesses even chicken farms yeah being guarded by well trained officers at the expense of the taxpayer yeah, and this is an issue that has refused to go away i have seen a lot of counter narratives being created by the deputy president side but none of them are flying the truth is that issue has become very damaging to the deputy president now these two issues are covered yeah in my weekly intelligence briefings number 65 and number 64 which contain highly sensitive information that will open your eyes tremendously yeah concerning these two nagging issues yeah that Kenyans are struggling to understand yeah so as to be able to analyze our current politics even with the many other things that are unfolding and that is why i urge you to take full advantage of my current offers yeah to be a member of my wib and you'll also receive all the other wibs i've ever produced yeah 65 in total now in case you're not yet a subscriber All you need to do is send a blank email to the email address you see on your screens right now. You'll get an automated email response giving you full details, full payment details of what you need to do so that you take advantage of this amazing current offer I have. Yeah, it's not as good as the previous one. Yeah, but it is still amazing. So that you can take full advantage of it, yeah, before it ends. Yeah, which will be very soon. Those same details are repeated in the description area below on this video on YouTube. I strongly recommend that you go for it. Now if you've enjoyed this video, kindly give me a like. Yeah, it helps me a lot. If you haven't, it's okay. Maybe next time. Until next time, this is Chris Kumekuja. Thank you.